Now when setting up the flexibility theme, we can take a cue from their yellow page ad if they have one. Let's go over to the yellow page ad. Okay. Here's the main ad. And you see that in here they have a ad that is an image. And down here they have a tagline that we can put in our site. It says, good to see you smile. And it has an exclamation mark. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go back here and we'll go down to the settings in general, which is where I am now. And in here, we'll put good to see you smile. Just like they have on their ad, we'll save that. And now when we have a look at our site, there it is there. Now one of the things you're going to want to do when you customize our theme is to change the color scheme. Since they have an ad in here in blues and whites, we should probably change our color scheme to match. So to do that, all you have to do is go back to the dashboard, go into flexibility theme options, and then in here you can go into the color picker. Okay, just like this. And then what you can do is you can click in here and find a color that you like. You see the color changing over here. Okay, so say we're going to go with this color. Now what we can do is go back to the yellow page ads again. Now what we're going to want to do is download this ad to our computer. Okay, so let's right click and then save the image into our folder. So just save image as and save it into our folder. Now what we can do is open up a program that we can manipulate the image with and you can use paint.net and it's a free program and I have added it to the resources document. So what we'll do is we'll go open up paint.net just install it. Okay here's paint.net so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to layer and what we're gonna do is import from file and then we'll bring in our image here. Okay now what we're gonna wanna do is go into image change our canvas size width to the same width that our blog is set at. So if we go in here blog width is 880 so let's set this to 880 and then just take our little hand tool here spread it right across and shrink it as much as you can without distorting it okay so that looks pretty good like that now what we want to do is go to image and crop to selection we now have a header simple as that now if there was no image available for you to use you you can just use the standard one that's already on the blog and just put some images under it or just use some text okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to save this and we'll save it as header and we'll save it as a JPEG save click OK and flat. Now we have to do is upload this to our server. And it tells us in here that if we want to use a custom header here's a custom image here and it tells you that you have to upload it to the directory WP content slash themes slash flexibility to slash images. So let's go on over to FileZilla. Okay, so over on this side, on the server side, we are at, okay, there's our Canyon Dental Center, W Content, Themes, Flexibility 2 SAS Images, just like it said, and then we just upload it to within inside this particular folder. So find header on our computer, just click Upload. And then what we do 
we go back to where it says header custom image and we can do now we need to know the height of it so we'll go back here we'll find our header image right click and do our properties go to details and our height is 409 so we'll go back here change our height to 409 and then we'll just save that now let's go refresh our blog page okay so now we have a custom header it's a little big but that's okay so that's how you can use some existing graphics if you want to change the header you could take the text right out of here if you want and then you would just have that band there and then we can go and we'll want to take some other stuff out here and set some other things up so what we'll do is we'll go and we'll get rid of this stuff down here and to do that we go into here we'll have to go back to widgets and then we want to go to the footer and show and then we just add a text and save that'll just turn it into a blank so if we go and we refresh here now that has disappeared off the bottom there now alternatively you could put something in a text widget so if we want to go click edit here we can put any type of text in here okay so you could put a URL here okay now this is an HTML text box okay so you'd have to follow standard HTML here okay so if we were to put a URL in here it would be a clickable URL that will open in another window and maybe we want to center that Hold it and then at the end of it make sure you close those tags now you could also open up a HTML editor and just put this right in the HTML editor just design it let me, let me show you here okay so you just type in what you want here and then we can just set the fonts the way you want so we could just grab this bold it, center it, and then put a link to it, uh, put our URL on there, and then down here, link to be opened in a new window, click OK. Okay, and that is exactly what will go there. So all I've got to do is click on source, and right in between these, this body and slash body, just grab this stuff, copy it, And we'll just go back and we'll paste over top of that. Okay, and then we'll say done and save. Let's refresh over here. Okay, and now we are designed by CHM Group Companies. CHM Group. You click on that, it goes to the other site. Okay, so you can do something like that if you want. You can put whatever you want in here or leave it blank. All right, things are starting to take shape. Now what we want to do is just finish up putting some content in here for them. First, we're going to want to remove some things. So let's go back to the blog setup here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to remove some things. First, we're going to remove links. So click on links here. And then click to select them all and the bulk actions do delete and apply 
get rid of the links. Next thing we're going to want to do is edit the posts. And we're going to want to do the same thing there, delete it. Because this is just garbage that's added by WordPress when you install it. And then we're going to want to go to pages. We're going to want to delete the about page. Let's go and set our home page. And we'll add a new page. Okay, we'll just put up here, welcome to Canyon Dental Center. And then this is put some content here. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll publish. Now, to set the home page, we have to go to settings. Then we have to go to reading. Then what we want to do is select a static home page and a front page. Okay, now what we'll do is click Save Changes. Now let's go refresh our site. Okay, and now our content is going to end up in this box here. And you see that we have a reply here, area to reply, so we're going to want to get rid of that. So what we're going to want to do is go to Discussion. Okay, uncheck allow people to post comments. Uncheck allow link notifications. Uncheck. Okay, leave this comment after must fill out name and email. Okay, and then down here, anyone post a comment, undo that. Comment is held for moderation. In case somehow somebody gets a comment in, leave that checked. That way, if it won't end up on your blog, it'll end up in your moderated comments. And an administrator must always approve a comment. Make sure that is selected. This will keep anybody from being able to comment on your site. Click Save Changes. Now we'll go back and refresh here. Now we should go edit that page because it was created before we made those changes. Okay, and then just roll down, and unclick, allow comments, and allow pings, and then we'll update. And then we'll go and refresh. Okay, so it's just waiting for us to put our content in on that site. Okay. All right, so now what we want to do is just edit these last few things here. So we'll go in, and we're going to go to widgets now, because we've got to change what we're going to see in the side panel. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get rid of recent posts, recent comments, categories, and archives off here. Those are the defaults, so the only way to get rid of them are to add widgets. So we're going to pick the sidebar right, and then what we'll do is we'll add in here what we want. So we're going to add pages. We'll edit this. And we'll call it Navigation. Okay, let's click Done. Save the changes. Now let's just go refresh over here. Okay, so you have Welcome to Canyon Dental Center here. Now we need to go back and get rid of these things on the bottom here. 
Okay, so that's sidebar bottom. Sidebar left and right. Okay, so if we look here, this is sidebar left, this is sidebar right. So let's just put text in there and save it as an empty thing. And we can always put something in there later. Now let's set sidebar right. Show. And again. Add text. Save. Now let's go and refresh. Okay. All we have to do now is add our content in here. We have navigation over here now. We could add a text widget and put anything else over here we want. Okay, so we don't actually have to put content on the site. What we're showing them is a design, and we're going to show them that they can have any content they want on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some links for each doctor, and then I'm going to put on here that they can change any content that they want on the site. So what I will do is I'll go into here and go back to Pages, add a new And we'll just put here, meet our staff. We'll just put the doctor's names in here, and then we'll link to each of them. Okay, so meet our dancing staff. Now what we're going to do is... We're going to save this page or publish. Now I'll create a new page for each doctor that we had in the other page. So this is where that doctor's bio would go. And then what we want to do is set the parent over on the right here. The parent is going to be meet our dentist and staff. Click publish. Okay. And then what we would do is we will put a hot link in here to this page okay so they can click the links from within that page or they can click the links from the browser bar I'll show you that in a minute now notice if we go to the home page that this shows up on this page but not in any other pages and that's because that's the way we have it set up so if you want this bar to show up on every page just set it that way I'll show you that when we're done with navigation Okay, this video is getting pretty long, so we're going to continue on the next video.